Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jaden here from iJailbreak.com and in this tutorial video, we're going to be covering uh, jailbreaking your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad with the new Evasion 7 jailbreak that was released unexpectedly today by the Evaders. So what I will note is Evasion 7 is compatible with Mac OS X and Windows. I will be showcasing this particular jailbreak on my iMac. So obviously um, a, a Mac OS X computer. Uh, the process is pretty much exactly the same on Windows though and I will be giving a few uh, notes here and there where things will be a little bit different on Windows but you can follow along with this on Mac and still be jailbreaking your device from a Windows computer no problem at all. Um, so in the video description below I have included a link to this tutorial that you're seeing on screen. Um, here you can see the compatibility with all the devices. Uh, to make it simple though, if your device can run iOS 7, then it is compatible with this jailbreak. Um, so before you even start this jailbreak though, um, and you have a compatible device, there is two things I want to say that you need to do to prepare your device for the jailbreak. The first is that you must be running a version of iOS 7 that has been either updated to or restored to from iTunes. If you're running a version of iOS 7 that you've updated over the air, which is, in most cases is probably a majority of people due to the convenience factor, uh, then what you're gonna need to do is either uh, update to the latest version through iTunes. So I actually had to do that to my iPod here. Um, all you do is go into iTunes, uh, select your device and on Mac all you're gonna do is click the option button and then we'll hold down the option button and then click the update button and you can select the firmware that you uh, downloaded which you can update to uh, otherwise more so the case you probably update to iOS 7.0.4 over the air already um, in that case we're gonna have to do is back up your device and then option click on Mac and click the restore button um, and then select uh, the latest iOS 7.0.4 firmware uh, which can also be downloaded from the iJailbreak download section just by clicking the download link in our uh, navigation. And if you don't know whether or not you update uh, over the air or not, then you should just do a restore to be safe because if you've updated over the air, that can cause issues with the jailbreak. Uh, lastly, what you're going to need to do is make sure you don't have a passcode enabled on your device that you're trying to jailbreak. If you do have a passcode, you're going to need to temporarily disable it before continuing. Uh, so with that said, if you're running a version of iOS 7 that's been updated to or restored to from iTunes and passcode is disabled, um, make sure you back up your device and you, we can proceed to uh, jailbreaking your device. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously download the software. Um, you can do that through one of the direct links, um, on which is on this tutorial, which again is linked to in the video description below. Uh, and once it's downloaded, uh, in some cases you'll need to extract it and you will see it on your desktop. So for first time Mac users, what you're going to have to do is control click the Evasion 7 app and then click open because Gatekeeper will prevent you from opening this. On, on Windows, you're going to want to make sure you open it as an administrator, which is as simple as right clicking and, uh, and clicking run, it, run as administrator. Um, so once it's open here, it should detect your device if you plugged it in. Uh, if not, then go ahead and plug that in now. So you can see it's detected my fifth generation iPod Touch running iOS 7.0.4. Um, so all you're gonna do now is click the jailbreak button. Once you click the jailbreak button, uh, Evasion's gonna do its thing and it's gonna start to upload all the different payloads to your device and begin the jailbreaking process. Uh, I will note that this can take up to five minutes if for whatever reason it gets stuck um, and it starts to get up to that maybe that 10 minute mark and that's usually a good indication that something's gone wrong um, but don't panic all you'll have to do is simply exit the program uh, restart your device by simply holding the power and home button together for about five to ten seconds and then start from scratch um, but in most cases if you've updated through iTunes to the latest iOS 7 firmware version and disabled the passcode there should be no reason why you will get an issue and your device will reboot uh, a few times during this process. This is absolutely normal. 
So once the jailbreaking application stops and it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Avision 7 icon. Uh, just wait for your device to actually finish rebooting and just follow along with the instructions as it says. So we're just gonna unlock your device. We're gonna scroll over to the second page. Um, we see the new Avision 7 icon right here. So we're gonna tap on it. Just tap on it once. Um, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna open and then the application is gonna crash. Um, and the jailbreaking process is going to continue. So do not touch your device after you press the Evasion 7 icon once. Then again, when you get to the point where it says to continue, uh, please unlock your device. Just wait for it to finish rebooting. And as soon as it turns back on, uh, we'll unlock it, as you can see here. So as soon as you unlock it the first time, it's gonna appear like you messed up unlocking it, but it, it actually did work. So as long as you swipe left to right, um, the jailbreak will finish and you should be presented with a done um, signifier on screen. So what we can do is go ahead and exit Evasion 7 now. So you can see on screen when you're presented with the done signifier and you exit Evasion 7 um, and your device turns back on automatically or you turn it on there will be one more step where um, a vision is running on your device and it's going to be a white screen um, with a vision icon and it's going to be still um, finalizing the jailbreak so just wait till that's finished don't touch your device don't touch itunes just leave everything as it is and wait for the jailbreak to complete so as you can see this should be the last time that it reboots and now once it reboots we should be presented with a lock screen and Yep, there we go. We can see here we have the lock screen, so we'll slide to unlock. And on the second page, Cydia should be present, so we'll launch it to confirm the jailbreak worked. It's going to prepare the file system and it's going to exit automatically, so we'll relaunch Cydia once it's done preparing the file system. Now, what I will say while we're waiting here is uh, the release of the Evasion 7 jailbreak caught even the creator of Cydia off guard. Um, in the fact that he, even he wasn't expecting it to be released today. So not only does Cydia need to technically be updated to be fully compatible with iOS 7, but so does Mobile Substrate, which is the framework that most Cydia tweaks rely on. So in regards to actually installing your favorite tweaks today, uh, that's gonna be pretty limited. Uh, once Mobile Substrate gets updated and Cydia gets up updated and developers kind of start catching on with the release of this jailbreak, things will be returned to normal within a couple of weeks. But over the next week or two, uh, there there is going to be a lot of issues with Cydia Tweaks not being compatible. Now, you can stay updated with this by going to iJailbreak.com. Right now, we currently have a post up. Um, that's about the list of the most common iOS 7 jailbreak tweaks that are compatible now. Uh, so you can feel free to contribute to that list and kind of see um, which tweaks are compatible, which tweaks aren't working, um, which tweaks are semi-compatible. Uh, but anyways, if you turn your attention back to the iPod here, uh, we can't. So we're presented with uh, Who Are We screen. I always do Developer, uh, so I can see everything. Um, and you can see here that Cydia is loading up, and we've had success. Um, so if you experience any issues, uh, definitely let us know in the comment section below and we'll try our best to help you out. Uh, there is going to be a new version of Evasion 7 released in the coming days, which will fix some of the areas that some people are experiencing. But overall, like I said, if you've prepared properly and the fact that you've updated to the latest version of iOS 7 through iTunes or restored to it through iTunes um, and disabled the passcode, you should really have no issues. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I will catch you next time. Peace.